Welcome to your market update and charts of the day for today. It's the 28th of February, 2024. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets, leads you around what's happening in markets today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's just check out the news. Of course, overnight we saw a mixed session in the US. The Russell 2000 outperforming all the major indices slightly to the upside, with the exception of the Dow, which was mildly lower. Quite a choppy session, but close near the highs. It is a big week of data this week with US GDP jobs and inflation data due over the next three days. So perhaps we are going to see some more significant action than we've seen at the early part of this week. US futures are slightly lower in early trading today. Asian markets are mixed with the ASX trading slightly down from neutral. European equity futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open this afternoon. But again, very, very mild gains, growth losses depending on the particular instrument you're looking at. US dollar index is holding support in its short-term range. Gold, it's still around that 2030 level. The major mover in the currency markets today appears to be the Kiwi, uh, subsequent to the RBNZ rate pause, but more so the dovish language that accompanied that release. Uh, copper edged higher after a recent pullback. Back over 385, the next key level is at 392, and all moved to the top of the range. Uh, we have the EIK later with a small build expected in stock levels bitcoin has been one of the major stories of the week that continued up through fifty-five thousand yesterday and is now around 57 as we record this in the sixty thousand dollar level which would be the highest for two and a half years australian cpi was at last month's level slightly better than was expected so the aussie is a little weak against some currencies today talked about the rbnz already later on We've got Eurozone, consumer confidence and industrial confidence data as well. It's tonight that the action starts to occur. We've got US GDP number, the Q on Q PCE uh, before tomorrow's more important year on year PCE data, which is the Fed's favoured inflation measure. And we've got three of the Fed members speaking tonight. So that could be influential. But the charts are core right today. On the back of that yen strength, that we're seeing a little bit today. You can see the GB pound yen is heading back towards this 19040 S1 pivot, which it tested yesterday. Should we breach that as a very high probability trade down to around about 190? You can see the last couple of times that it's hit this range, it's been a straight up, straight down, straight up move on this. So this is why this could be looked at as a high probability trade. Worth checking out in next couple of hours or so to make sure that it's continuing that trajectory on the asx despite its somewhat muted performance there are some highlights on there we're looking at the early learning sector here with gem the yeah, education limited and you can see there we're pushing hard against the resistance at 127 this was an earnings pop that we saw yesterday we have got continuation of that so we're just waiting to see if we can breach the highs back from march last year which were also tested in january and february so a potential key level to break through trade safe and see you again soon bye bye for now